Hello and welcome to the series about Rugby League betting preview for the whole KR vs Warrington Challenge Cup semi-final which is live on BBC One at 12.45 today. Now Tony Smith's Warrington team to fit form at just the right time this season. They've won four of the last five and last week they had a really, really impressive 44-6 winner at Castleford who have been playing really well of late. Now yes, they have been inconsistent this season. They've beaten Leeds twice but then they've struggled to beat Witness at home. They've lost at home to Hull FC. And they actually smashed it a few weeks ago at Hull KR in the league. But we all know that Hull KR's form at home is a lot better than it is away from home. In fact, Hull KR have just hit a bad run of form just at the wrong time this season. Obviously, now they're going to have to compete in the middle eights to start that against Lee next week. That's probably even a bigger game than what this one is today. Now, in the last four defeats, they've shipped 140 points. They shipped over 50 points at Saints. And yes, we could probably disregard that. They had one eye definitely on today's game. There was no Leroyer. No Kelly, no CEO. So they did rest the best place. And also, I suppose it is worth noting that a few months ago, they shipped 60 points at Wigan and then two weeks later beat the same Wigan side in the Cup. But let's not forget that was when Campesi was playing and Campesi was fantastic at Lee in the Cup that day. He won't be playing today and I must admit the Robins have really, really missed him. Now, Warrington get it. Eight points to concede on the handicap. I think they can do that. I think they can win this by more than eight. Somewhere around 16 to 20 so is well, what I'm thinking of this one. I think that's about five to one. That's not bad odds. Now, probably the value bet in the game, you know. Um, last round, Lee scored 20 points in Warrington's win at the HJ in the Cup. And also, a couple of weeks ago, Warrington went to Wakefield. They won the game comfortably, but... W- w- Wakefield managed to score 20 points. I think that the Robins will definitely score points with the likes of Kelly in the side scoring tries. They've got Dixon, they've got Seal. There's definitely three or four tries in this Warrant, in this Hull KR outfit. So I think if you go back Warrington to win the game, but Hull KR to score 20 points or more, that's about 11 to 4. That's decent value. Obviously, if you disagree with me, you can get 15 to 2 for Hull KR to win the game and Warrington to score points. 20 plus points in the game. I definitely see Warrington scoring points. But I, I really do fancy the wire in this one they're just conceding too many points the robins it's just it's just not for me now any of us try score bets probably look to the captain joel man and he's back in the side now scoring tries and also you can always rely on kieran dixon he's so fast but full care a full back he comes in the line really well now he could be up there with first try score bets on the man of the match well it's an hard one for why it, 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 no real pattern daryl clark 92 that seems very short Richie Marlowe was supposed to play really well at Castleford last week. Now, he's about 6-1. to one. I think that's probably a little bit better value. As for Hull Kiab, they're going to pull off a shock. Well, Albert Kelly, he's about 7-1. to one. Now, if you bear in mind the 5-2 to two to win the game, that's very, very short odds. For me, we've had this guy before, but Mantellato is 20-1. to one. Now, they'll have to score a lot of tries to win this game, Now, which means he'll be kicking a lot of goals. He also plays on the wing. He be bags a try or two. His top point salary could be near 16, 20 points if they are to win. At 20 to 1, that's going to be very, very difficult to ignore. So for me, a man of the match, it would definitely be Myler and Josh Montalato. Let's see if we can double up. We were, let's be honest, we were quite lucky with Sinfield last night. There was better players on that pitch. But I mean, that's the nature of this bet. We've been robbed with it before. We picked the best performer, but he hasn't managed to get the award. It's, it's all about who the, the Sky team or this time the BBC team pick. It should be a really good game today. But like I said, I do fancy Warrington on the handicap conceding eight start. I, I just can't be having no cap five to two. They've conceded far too many tries. And like I said, I do think they've got bigger battles to come. This is probably the you know this is a cup semi final place at Wembley, but you know they'll be fighting for the Super League survival next week at Lean. For me, that's even more important. And we'll have a nice preview up with the middle eights next week. We'll see you then.